A Singapore Deputy Prime Minister, Heng Sui Kiet, has called on countries to come together to harness technology to solve challenges like ageing and climate change. He made the comment at the annual technology forum in Beijing. Tan Sehui reports. It's a show of one of the latest and greatest tech at this year's Zhongguan Tuan Forum. Held in Beijing, it features nearly a hundred robots from 15 companies. At the event, Singapore's DPM Heng Sui Kiet stressed the importance of global innovation and tech cooperation in the age of AI and automation. We must not forget how interconnected we are. Hence, we must come together to share our ideas, resources and expertise to harness innovation to solve humanity's common challenges. How can we better understand the human brain to help our students and workers prepare for the age of AI and automation? I think the age of AI is going to fundamentally change the human skills and competencies that we need to be able to use AI to augment human capability and not to fear being replaced by AI. Like many countries around the world, Singapore is also facing a rapidly ageing society. About one in five Singaporeans are aged 65 or older. It's a similar situation in China, but on a larger scale with 220 million seniors. TPM Heng says healthcare and social support systems must be prepared for future challenges. Mr. Heng says Singapore and Zhongguan Tun, a major tech hub here in Beijing, are robust innovation ecosystems, crucial for quickly turning scientific discoveries into meaningful impact. As part of this effort, Singapore has been developing specialized infrastructure to help scientists commercialize their research. China has also been driving a wave of technological advancements in new areas like humanoid robots and clean energy vehicles. It hopes to continue deepening international cooperation with 100 international joint R&D projects underway in Beijing. Zhongguan Tun Luntan will continue to deepen international Singapore and China are marking their 35th anniversary of diplomatic relations this year. Over the course of his four-day visit to China, Mr. Heng has met with political and business leaders, as well as leaders from various industries and academics. Tan Sihui, CNA, Beijing.